<clears throat> hey, what's up, YouTube? So I'm ripping uh, some three-quarter plywood to fur out my uh, four by four post to accept my column wraps. And a quick tip, uh, when you're cutting by yourself, so I'm ripping a three inch um, strip and versus hooking your chalk line on the end, like this is especially important if you're cutting angles, um, like framing it or sheeting a gable or something. But you can take your uh, saw blade if you don't have a clip or anybody there to hold it for you, scribe out your line a little ways and make a saw curve right on your line and then you can drop your string line in there. So and obviously if you were, you know, doing a gable or whatever, you could set your angle to whatever degree, scribe it, and then, you know, make a saw curve and that way, just kind of a good trick. An old carpenter showed me. So then you drop your string line right in your saw curve. And that way you don't need a clamp. You know it's not gonna move on you. And it's a lot more precise than trying to clamp, clamp your string line or set the nail or whatever. <clears throat> 